Hey everybody, welcome to another Kitario Fables video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating to all of you on how to get the Sunstone item. So as a quick little heads up, while you're playing through the game normally, you'll actually encounter a couple situations where you're going to need a Sunstone. A lot of players actually find that the first time when they actually need a Sunstone is when they want to go into the fourth upgrade of the game, which could be the Gladiator Sword because it requires two sunstone. Later on in the game as well, the holy sword requires an additional two sunstone as well. So in total you'll need four. So I will show you how to get the sunstone in case you don't know how. I do recommend that you go ahead and upgrade to the veteran sword though before you do this that I'm about to show you because having a better sword is going to make it a little bit easier for defeating the enemy that actually has the sunstone. The veteran sword requires the long sword which is the previous sword of course as well as 35 sap and 5 copper ingot neither of which are too difficult to obtain. Okay let's go ahead and show you where specifically you get it first. So from Paw Village, all you basically have to do is make your way to the forest plantation area, which actually can be accessed pretty early on in the game. All you have to do is go through Up River Field, West Paw Field, By River Field, and then finally Forest Plantation. Let me show you that. So if you take the pathway that I just showed you, you will actually get taken into Forest Plantation. In Forest Plantation, all you have to do is head directly north into this area that's going to be full of orcs. This is basically the orc base of the game. Lots of different orcs that drop things like orc tokens, of course. But the big guy that you actually want to go in and fight is this guy right over here, which is known as the Orc Warrior. It's essentially the mini boss of the area. Before you actually fight the boss, I should give you a couple recommendations. The first thing is that the Orc Warrior is actually a docile enemy, meaning that he will not actually attack you unless you attack it first. The Orcs around the area are actually hostile, so what you want to do is that when you find him, make sure to wipe out all the other enemies first before you hit the Orc Warrior once. That way you can deal with the other enemies first, defeat them very quickly, and then you'll be good to go. Obviously I have a much better sword right now, but they're not too difficult enemies, just simply, you know, Dodge their one attack and then just hit them from behind as often as possible. Once you have the Orc Warrior alone and you hit him once, we'll actually see a couple of attacks. The first attack is an AoE move that you just saw right here that actually covers a pretty sizable part. It's actually a pretty easy move to dodge. All you have to do is approach him and actually roll. I highly recommend rolling past the attack. It is very easy to do that and roll past anything. Even if you are still in the vicinity of an attack, the roll is fantastic because you'll actually still be able to dodge the move even if you're in there as you kind of just saw. I was in the area of attack but I went ahead and rolled and it actually ended up protecting me still. This is me just showing you the different moves. It's actually very easy to dodge. Uh, now I do have an accessory that actually uh, makes it a little bit easier so I should um, go ahead and unequip that just so I can actually show you. This is the normal speed you would actually have early on in the game. And as you can see, it's still very easy to dodge. See, even if you're within the area, you can still dodge it very easily because the roll is literally that good. And that's its only two attacks that it has. Just take your time, always roll through the attacks, hit him a couple times. After a couple hits, roll again, get behind him, keep attacking him. It's very simple. In my opinion, it is the second easiest boss in the game behind a King Gooey. Technically third easiest if you count that mushroom boss in that dungeon as well because that one actually is the easiest one. But that's basically all you have to do. As you can see he's almost down. My sword is much better so if you're fighting him for the first time with your weaker sword it'll definitely take longer but the dodging is still going to be the same difficulty regardless. Once you defeat him you will actually get a couple items. The Sunstone is the big one right there that I just dropped. And that's basically it for how you actually get the Sunstone item. You also saw a couple other drops like a Copper Key, Fire Spheres. Those items are not 100%, but the Sunstone is a guaranteed 100% drop every single time. The boss does respawn every day, so you cannot just zone out and zone back in to fight another Orc Warrior. That is not actually how it works. You need to be able to go to the next day, sleep, and then come back here again and fight him again if you want to get a second Sunstone. Alright, so other than that, I'm all finished with this video, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.